So that was the Chrome Axe in 6.5. Off. Next up, we'll throw the Saxon 9mm, which is a uh, little bit longer can. So, that's it right there. So, I've got two more to test here. I've got the Crow. Um, Arc 30, which is a 30 cal can, it's a little bit bigger, you can see, and then the Saxon, which, this is a 1.5 diameter, the, the Arc is, the Saxon's a 1.25, I think, same diameter as the, uh, the, sac, uh, the, um, the Axe, it's just longer, so, we got the Saxon 9 and the Arc 30, this should be the quietest, but let's try this, uh, Saxon 9, the cool thing about the Saxon 9 is that it can be used on a pistol as well, utilizing um, a Nielsen device or booster in the back so that's also still really light so I'm also going to check here to see if my point of impact shifts from can to can so my zero is slightly higher I'm shooting factory 140, 140, uh, 140 ELDs my point of impact is about about point about point three high so We'll see what happens now with the Saxon, Saxon 9. I don't know how much daylight left, so get through this real quick. All right, left to right is perfect. It's exactly one inch high. Quarter inch below it. Left to right is perfect. And that was right next to that one. This ammo is it doesn't shoot phenomenal in this gun. It's not my hand loads. So point impact's about the same as the other one, maybe about a quarter inch higher. I have to tell. You know, the group size is about three-quarter inch, which is what this gun shoots with the factory Hornady. So, all right, so now let's put the ARC-30. The ARC-30 is heavier than the three of these. So, if my zero is the same with the heaviest of the three cans on there, um, I'd be impressed. This Ruger does have a point of impact shift with the suppressor on there of right at two minutes vertical. No horizontal at all, but it does have a two-minute vertical shift. So, let's see there's any change now with this can and then this can should be the quietest of the three all right so I'm gonna go was top left target then top right was the Saxon so I'm just gonna go middle target I oh, scratch that I'll go bottom left for the arc 30 impact is exactly the same as the other two cans pretty much right about three quarter of an inch half an inch high actually that's right at an inch so yeah that one's right at an inch high um, that last shot was just just above the one inch line I'll put one more in there and see if anything happens the groups that group is tighter than the other two. It's the tightest group of the day right there. Let me see if I can put one more in there. Make that a five shot group.
right into the same group. So that one's that one did shift half half a minute to the left. My point of impact shifted, so um, I did notice half an in, half an inch left, half a minute, because I'm right at a hundred um, left. The vertical maybe. It's less than a quarter inch higher than the other two, so pretty cool overall. I'll run down there and I'll uh, get a picture of it, but I don't know that I could hear a huge difference. I'm going to put the, uh, the axe back on there again after having the quietest of the three and then see if I notice a big difference. The axe is a 6.5 can, so we have a 30 in the arc, a 9 in the Saxon and in this little this little dude we have a 6.5 can so I'm about out of daylight which means I have to get out of here but um, hopefully this quick little test was good and informative alright so this should be the loudest of the three cans Some coyotes serenading me. Yeah. So I was right back into that first group. Right where it should have been. So it is a little bit louder. It's not bad. I'm curious how it sounds there on the GoPro. Um, but uh, hopefully this has been informative. But i got to get out of here before the range master tells me to leave. So anyways. All right, so I'm uh, going over here to pull this target real quick and get out of here. So what you got here is um, the uh, the axe there. That's about what this gun shoots. That's with that factory ammo. Um, the axe, the Saxon 9, so point of aim, point of aim, and then the ARC-30, point of aim. So it's, it's still about a three quarter inch group or so, give or take. That's just what it shoots with the same. It shoots phenomenally better with the 140 burgers um, on hand load. But anyways, so three different cans, all the same point of aim on and off. And then back at the ax, I took the ax off obviously to shoot the three and then put it back on and shot. And my other shot went right into here. So that top little part. So anyways, hope that's informative to you guys.